We don't come again no, with another information. This update is hot too because we don't already recover another arms. Hey, it's sweet, my belly. Oh, when they go to be a friend, we give them moto moto. Hey, not be waiting. We are go there and yeah, they talk. I beg you, you need to listen to this. And um, <laughs> of course. It's in she. It's in her name, ain't we? She. I would teach you get it there, ain't we? She. I'm telling you. So they have collected another Wotoski, Woto Woto, <laughs> in a highway. I got to check go to their, their lorry, Abaroko, I collect there, and there was a big, big one. These things I'm saying is video. I will want to, to watch the video to the end and also <laughs> listen to <laughs> what you're saying. Look at that. <laughs> You know, when you're outside Biafra land, you will not know that these enemies are targeting at us. Especially, they are using Dangote trucks and uh, lorries to send ammunition down there in the southeast. They want to fight us in our homeland. And they think Chukukika Biama will fold his arms and be watching. That is why we. We told them earlier on that their weapon is our weapon. When they come in that guise, we we'll take it over from them and we make it our own. But we are not relying on what we grab from the enemies. We still have our own weapons because Biafra land must be protected. A video of what I shared now is a video of a, a truck that was burnt into ashes because the Indigenous security men, of course, be friends, France, noticed that they are having ammunition against our people and they were apprehended, you know, and destroyed. Most of those weapons, of course, you should know that they have <laughs> Yes. At least seeing is believing. You have seen it. This one is video. From the, you know, dialects, the mother tongue they are speaking, I think this is uh, Olo, Anno, Anno, either Olo or Owere, something like that. Yes, every time they are trying to target at our youths, when they come, they will lay ambush. And then when they want to, you know, attack people, you see hundreds of people dying. But if our people apprehend them on time, they convert those their weapons to our own and they will live in fear. Next, they will go home. Before you know it, they are in reinforced again. They will still come back. You know, all men should get ready. Because we are saying that we want to go. They now want to turn it to war. This is the worst set of people we have ever seen in the whole world. Blacks are truly naive. They don't understand. Freedom is our inalienable right. We should be given that chance to have that freedom. If you feel you are slave to um, Britain, you can continue to serve them. Maybe you want to serve white man. Continue to serve Britain. Continue. We don't want to serve them anymore. And you cannot keep us down and say we must. No. Everything has to be done by agreement or with agreement this by first thing has stopped working for a very long time and the kind of water water these people collected 
trying to go and take up that uh, truck, you are saying, oh, the way our Prime Minister put his death is even alarming. He said, it's Woto Woto Wotoski. <laughs> In Wotoski way, they collected Woto Woto. Uh -huh. At least that they have lost those uh, weapons and of course, most of them collected. And most of them I know must have been sent uh, for judgment. Yes, they must go and answer and tell to Kabiyama what they, have, they are doing in Biafra land. Because that land belongs to the people of that region. And because you have blocked these people economically, you blocked them up. And yet, you want to suffocate them with war. Ah, no. This injustice is getting to the brim. It has even got to the brim and we can imagine, look at our leader tomorrow and today, still in DSS custody. And yet, Igbos are still trying to help them to capture our prime minister. And they know that one is impossible. So, all Goroha, Imene member, they are tired <clears throat> trying to stop him. Um, and God must continue to give him that uh, coverage of glory. Coverage of honor he is giving it to that guy. So the way he's making waves, the way Biafra is uh, getting ready. This time around, the template says that it is your time to vote. Do that uh, civil duty. Do it first. You have to do it. That's your right to do it. And this is your time to do it. Get it done. By the time we will show the number to the whole world that, yes, this region has decided to have their own nation, then they will have no option than to sign it for us. All right? And you don't have to stop praying. Keep praying. At least pray for the men on ground. If you pray for them and bullets can become water for their own side, you know, say our enemies will be in serious trouble. We don't want to lose men. We don't want to lose anyone because we have already lost many. So we want the whole losses, the whole bullets to be on the side of our enemies. Let them be the ones to be collecting this water water. Let them be the ones to be sent to Chukwokikabiyama because now them be corporate, no be us. You understand? If you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't know. But we are trying to make you know. That is why we bring you updates. If you are on the know of what is going on, you will be praying morning, day, and night that Biafra will come and that these men will continue to fall in Biafra land because they are not there to protect you, my dear people. Let no man deceive in the name of government. There is no government in the first place. All right? If you listen to Aisha Yusuf, you will understand. He, she has already said it on air. They know her house. They know everything about her. She said, there is no government. There is no president. That thing there <laughs> is an illegal person that uh, grabbed power. Nobody gave him that power. And yet, if Aisha Yusuf is walking around and uh, they're not, you know, uh, apprehending her because she is saying honest truth, whether they understand it or not, there is no Nigeria. Let nobody deceive you into believing nonsense. They will use it to buy your land. They will use it to chase you out of your land. And that is called Islamization and subjugation. Do you understand? So please, put your mind in what we are doing and help us to, you know, always share our videos, like and uh, stand by us by subscribing. Thank you.